my name is Katrina and I play percussion. National Concert Hall was with the National Youth Orchestra and it's been nearly 20 years since then and I've gone on to play with the incredible RT National Symphony Orchestra, the RT Concert Orchestra and recently touring all around the world playing with incredible artists. However, when I come back to Dublin to the Concert Hall I still get the nerves and the jitters because it's such a prestigious venue for music and I'm delighted for any chance to work with the Learning and Participation Programme there also. So percussion is basically anything that we either strike by hand, such as even your body, or more commonly uh, with sticks or with mallets. Now in orchestral percussion, we have pitched percussion and unpitched. So pitch would be like the marimba here. If you haven't seen one before, these are the like a, like a piano, like the white notes on the keyboard. And these were like the black notes on the keyboard. And um, to play the marimba, I'm going to use yarn mallets, which are nice and soft and they won't crack the wood. And the marimba sounds a little bit like this. Now I can also play the marimba with four mallets. Now another keyboard instrument is the glockenspiel. Now the glock is made of metal keys and I use plastic mallets to play this. See if you recognise this tune. So that's the glockenspiel. Now next in the pitched percussion family, let's cue the music here, are the timpani. Now timpani are a bass instrument, meaning they sound very low and they can also be tuned with this pedal. are instruments that don't carry a tune, such as the snare drum here. The snares are underneath, and that's what makes the sound. We also have the orchestral tambourine, which sounds like this. The woodblock. Castanets. A cymbal. And of course, no orchestra is complete without a triangle. So percussion started for me in Cork with the Ballancolly Concert Band where I was handed an egg shaker. And I was told I could keep time when I had rhythm and would I keep playing percussion. And so from the egg, the instruments just kept getting bigger and bigger and that's what kept me interested. And I really, really, really wanted to join um, the senior band. And I kept pestering my mom until one day she said, go ahead and just ring the conductor. So I summoned up my courage, I rang him and I joined the senior band. And my very first day in the senior band, I was very nervous. I accidentally um, knocked over a pair of congas and completely embarrassed myself in front of everyone. However, confidence grew, I made some terrific friends that I'm still friends with today and I'm delighted I stuck with it. So I'd love to play um, a piece of music for you by Matthias Schmidt called Ganea. The piece takes inspiration from African music which is very suitable actually because the marimba has roots in Africa. Now if you have a look at the music you'll see that it looks very like piano music in that we have the treble clef and also the bass clef. So I hope you enjoy this piece of music.
some more music, one of my favourite pieces to listen to is Sabre Dance by Kachaturian. And you can hear it here. So listen out for the timpani playing on the beat, the, um, the snare drum playing off beats while the xylophone takes the melody. It's great fun. So I have the link there included below. Also check out Alex Pecku's album, he's a good friend of mine, uh, his album called In Time, and also the RTE Concert Orchestra playing Pirates of the Caribbean at the National Concert Hall. So thanks a million again for watching and keep an eye out for more videos in this series. And I really hope to see you soon at the National Concert Hall when it reopens. If you're a percussionist yourself, why not record yourself playing one of your favourite pieces and upload it using the National Concert Hall social media links. Okay, thanks again and hope to see you soon. Bye!